Hello and welcome back to SketchUp Assist. Today we're going to continue with our kitchen design. Specifically, we're going to be adding the countertops and the sink. Uh, so let's get started. Now there are a number of ways to do this. Um, the way I'm going to do this is I'm going to come back here in the back corner and I'm going to start drawing a rectangle. And I'm going to punch in the numbers here. I want to go 24 inches wide by one inch thick. Okay. And I want to go ahead and make this a group now. So let's make this a group. Now we'll need to stretch it out. I made it 24. Uh, you could go ahead and make it 25 to give an inch overhang. But uh, for now, we'll leave it here. And we can use push-pull to adjust it as needed. Okay, so let's pull it up just flush with the end. Uh, the reason I like to do this is it's a little easier to, to lock into the end of the cabinet and then come back in and pull out the additional inch. And now that we did an inch here, we can just double click on this face and it will pull that out for us. Okay. And now we're gonna spin around here and I'm gonna pull a measure, pull a line out there to 24 and that's gonna be our Our break point for heading the other direction with the countertop. So we'll just complete this line here. And now let's go ahead and get rid of that. Now let's do uh, push pull here and let's pull this across. We'll clean this up in just a moment and let's lock that in. And let's go ahead and come in and take that little line out. We don't want that. <clears throat> now on this side, we're going to leave it. We're not. Um, we're not going to have an overhang. There's a refrigerator gonna, that will go in there, so we'll leave that as is. And we're going to pull this front out uh, one inch. Okay. And now I'm going to do um, something a little different here. Um, I'm going to make a mark here at my edge. So zoom in here and get, lock into that point. Now this is a little different because we have this angled cabinet here and I want this to be out an inch because I'm going to have an inch overhang off of the front of my lower cabinet there and again there are probably a number of ways to do this uh, this is just the way I'm generally doing it and I'll pull off here one inch okay and now what we're going to do is we can simply come across here and pull that to that mark and you'll see that it closes or creates a um, solid surface there and then in push pull mode we can come up one inch and lock that in now if we want we can come in and, and actually get rid of these lines they're really not going to hurt anything but, uh, but let's go ahead and clean them up so they're not in there let's go back into push pull mode and we'll just double click um, okay and then we can come in here and clean up these lines. And we can clean up the guidelines. All right. Okay, so now we have our countertops um, and we want to add a sink. Um, what I'm going to do is come in here. I'm actually going to pull this countertop out of place here when I go to add the sink. But what I want to do is get a couple of marks here so that I know where I want to center my sink. So I'm going to pull down off of that uh, and then I'm going to come around here and I'm going to pull another line off of that and notice I, when I'm my line turns blue I know I'm uh, parallel with my z-axis there okay now on this one I want to click into my group because I want to put a couple of marks here that are going to stay with my group and again notice I'm red now I'm I'm parallel with one of my horizontal axes, axes. Okay, and that's gonna come right up, right up there. Okay. So now I kind of know where my sink needs to go and I can pull my countertop out now. Those lines will stay with my group and then I'll just clean those lines up later. Okay. All right, so let's now get out of here. Let's grab this countertop and let's just kind of slide it over um, 
And then one other thing we're going to do is, while we're here, we're going to come in and take the top of that countertop off, and you'll see why in a few minutes. Okay. So now I want to grab a sink, and I'm going to go... Uh, I'm going to go into the 3D warehouse, so under window, warehouse. Okay, and let's take a quick look. You can choose whatever you want. I'm just going to grab a it's kind of a basic sink. So I'm actually going to take this sink here, and I'm going to go ahead and load it into model. Should this uh, pop up here, load directly into the model, okay. And, and there it is, okay. And we can pull it over here, and then we're going to click on one of these guys here. And right, rotate it around. OK, now we want to kind of start positioning, positioning it here. And I'm going to hit the arrow keys. I've got it locked on green now, so I can go back and forth. Now I'm going to lock it on blue so I can take it straight down. And I'm going to zoom in here so I can get a little finer control. And I'm going to set it in place. And that looks pretty good right there. And now I want to lock on to red and pull it forward a little bit and take it up to the edge okay and you can kind of fine-tune it how you want um, to fit whatever your whatever your needs are now we have our sink kind of in place what we want to do is come in here and I'm going to click on the countertop so we're just going to grab a square here I come up here a little bit we can pull back maybe right there okay and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna push pull that surface out and get rid of it completely so now we've cut an oversized opening here but that's fine we're gonna go ahead and take out these lines because what we can do now is come in and use push pull to tighten that up. So let's go back into push pull. Let's grab now the edges and let's pull those underneath. Okay. And we undercut the front already, so there's really nothing to pull there. So now our sink is set in place. Uh, let's shift back over. And I'm going to grab the sink and the countertop so I'm going to select the sink and then hold the shift key down and select the countertop and I'm going to zoom out I'm actually going to reposition here because I'm going to use a lock point so if you remember I didn't pull any overhang on this side so I can use that back corner to lock my countertop back into the proper position and so I'm going to come in here and I'm going to grab this and I'm going to lock it back in there Select, select out or deselect and there we go there's our countertop with our sink uh, cut in uh, and everything looks great we can go ahead and clean these lines up and our kitchen is a little closer to being done so that is all for today uh, hopefully you enjoyed the video if you liked it please subscribe and we'll see you next time